Today, I'm going to show you how you can design any voice you like with a brand new software, which is called Sound So Real. Uh, with this software, you can literally describe what kind of voice you wanna have. If you wanna have a movie trailer, you simply type, I wanna have a movie trailer voice, and it's going to create it for you. If you wanna have a podcast voice, it's going to create it for you. So I'm gonna show you a full demo, but just in case you're interested, check out the link in the description of this video. We'll redirect you to my website. And if you pick it up through my link, you're also gonna get some bonuses. I'm gonna give you 200 plus prompts uh, that you can use directly inside of the software. Uh, I'm also gonna give you access to Nova Studio here where you can record your own voice, where you can apply these filters, etc. cetera. Uh, so make sure to check it out. For now, let's dive into it and let me show you how you can create those voices. So that's the most interesting part of this software. And here at the right side, you have a button. It says create or design a voice. So when you click on that, you have three options. So the first option is here is to design your voice. Uh, that's where you can describe what kind of voice you want to have. Then we also have here voice remixing and we have instant voice clone, which I'm going to show you. But first, let's start with voice design. And in this field here, you can describe what kind of voice you would like to sound like. So let me copy a prompt that I'm having right here and let me paste it in here. And what we're gonna show you here is a booming epic trailer narrator, uh, deep and commanding with dramatic pauses. The voice should create instant excitement and suspense. Well, let's simply click on generate example and let me show you the results. And there you go, now check this out. In a world shrouded by darkness, one hero will rise. So the more you describe the voice, the better it will be. It will listen to what you're saying. So let me do another one here. So let me do this one. An elderly British nature documentary narrator, quietly fascinated by every detail. Well, blah, blah, blah. You can pause the video if you want to see the description. Let me click on generate sample and let me show you the voice. And there you go. Listen to this. And here we observe the subtle dance of sunlight upon the water's surface. Each ripple Man. A tiny world reflecting this the... This sounds so good, right? Let me show you the next one here. So a slow, calm and soothing male voice uh, that we can use for um, mindfulness. So let me generate the voice and come back to you. This takes about 10 seconds. There you go. Listen to this. If you want to do this for meditations, you can use a voice like this. Welcome. Take a deep breath with me now. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest. Do you see that it follows exactly what I instructed to do? Slow, calm, soothing male voice, gentle tone that relaxes the mind and body. Uh, let's do something totally different here. Uh, an all-time radio voice, crisp, slightly nasal, and full of retro charm. Well, let's generate this voice. And there you go, listen to it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is your host, bringing you another <laughs> thrilling installment of adventure. I think this is, this is simply amazing. I can play with this forever and ever. Here, the next one. Quiet and trembling, slow, hesitant voice with soft sniffles. Feels vulnerable and heartbreaking. Let's generate this one. And there you go. Listen to it. Sniffle. I, I don't know if I can do this. It's just, it's all a bit much, you know. I'm trying. I really am, but sigh. Just feel um, so those voices are so good, aren't they? Let me do one more and then go to the next thing. Let's click on generate here. And this is an angry young boy, loud, sharp and emotional, slightly sarcastic with burst of loud frustration. Pacing is uneven and dramatic. Uh, and it's ready here. Listen to it. Seriously, you expect me to just sit here and take that? No way! I'm not some little kid you can just push around. This wow, is wow. So if you want to save your voices, you simply type here angry boy. And then you can save your voice here. And now it's saved to your library. You can always use this voice. There you go. Now it jumps to the next screen where you can type your script in here. Now let me go back to the voices here and create and design a voice because the next option is voice remixing. Now what you can do here is you can take one of your cloned voices. So for example, you could tape the movie trailer voice. In a world where shadows dance and secrets lie hidden, one person 
will rise. So this is a voice. And what you can do here is you can change this voice prompt. So for example, uh, you could say, make the voice sound more angry and more fast paced, and then generate a sample. Now, I think it should work like this. I didn't see a tutorial yet. They were not available when I was recording this review. Uh, but I didn't did not notice many big differences uh, when I made those changes. They say that you can change the voices. I haven't seen it, but let's see the result. And there you go. Listen to it. <sighs> I'm telling you, this is unacceptable. We've been over this a dozen times. My patience is wearing thin. We need to move oh, faster. It, it kind Much of works. You know, he's annoyed, kind of angry, annoyed. Um, but if you want to save this voice, you can give this a new name and you can save this voice as a new voice so that you can reuse it. Now, the next thing, and there's way more options in the software. Stick, because there's no three options. There's more. Uh, instant voice clone. Now, check this out. You can type your name here. So I'm going to do Tim's voice. And you could do voice description. Well, do Tim's voice. You could do this if you're narrating a book or whatever. You can choose the language uh, that you have here. You can choose the model. I do 2.5. I think the newest is the best. And you can record your audio here or you can upload your audio file. Now, let's record one in Nova Studio so that you can see how that sounds. So I'm going to do here start recording and let's record something that we're going to clone my voice. Hey guys, this is Tim and this is my voice that we're going to clone for a new platform which is called Sound So Real. So if you want to clone your voice, you simply talk about 10, 20, 30 seconds and then it will use your voice to recreate a voice for you. So we're at 17 seconds right now and I think this should give a good uh, yeah, feeling of what my voice is all about. So let's stop the recording and continue from here. So let's convert this to an MP3 here and let's download this one here. There we go. So let's use this voice. We're going to upload and you can also do this in the software, but you can apply the effects in Nova Studio, which is pretty cool. Here, listen to it. Hey guys, this is Tim and this is my voice that we're going to clone. So when you upload this here, it's going to clone this voice. You need to accept the terms and you're going to click on create voice and let's listen to how this vo uh, voice sounds. So the voice is ready and it jumped to the next screen here where we can generate the speech. So when I click on generate speech, it will generate the voice for us. And let's listen to it. And it's ready. Check this out. This is my voice clone. Hey guys, this is Tim and this is a clone of my voice. What do you think? Does it sound good? Oh, and I forgot to ask. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I think it's pretty neat, right? Okay, my voice is a little bit different, but I think it comes pretty close. Let's listen to it again. Hey guys, this is Tim. Hey guys, this is Tim. And this is a clone of my voice. And this is a clone of my voice. What do you think? Does it sound good? What do you think? Does it sound good? Well, you get the idea, right? You can use your own voice here and then you can clone it. And maybe you can, oh, I didn't, I didn't see this here, but you can also say angry. Let's see what this is, the pitch. Let's pitch it a little bit higher here, or is it? Yeah, we can pitch it here, speed, a little slower. Let's check this out. Not sure if this is gonna be angry, but you can change these settings in here as well. And I'm also seeing this, you can also- Hey guys, this is Tim, and this is a clone of my voice. What do you think? Does it sound good? Now, this is a little bit too slow, right? We shouldn't set the, the speed should be one. Let's generate this. Let's see what it does. Hey guys, this is Tim and this is a clone of my voice. So you can hear it sounds more pitchy here. It doesn't sound really exactly like my voice, but you can change some settings here. And also you can do this in different languages, I think. So if you want to do this in Dutch, let's see if I can type a Dutch line in here to see if it sounds like my voice in Dutch. Let me change something in here. And it's ready now, check this out. Hey allemaal Tim hier, dit is een clone van mijn stem en het klinkt behoorlijk goed. Yeah. Hey allemaal. This is more like a Belgium. I don't know if this is really Dutch, but well, it sounds Dutch, but it's a little bit of an accent here. Uh, but you get the idea, right? This can be done with voice cloning. The original voice clone sounded the best, uh, but that's what you can do. Now, 
check this out. I've shown you how you can design your voices, how you can clone your voice, etc. But there's more in the menu here. So this is text to speech here where you can simply select a voice. So here you can choose from the voices of the library. Now, there are a lot of voices in here. Check this out. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you have selected. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you have selected. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you... Hello, this is a demo of the voice... Imagine listening to an audiobook where every character speaks with personality. So they sound really good, right? And you can choose the language in here. Uh, you can choose the gender, etc. You can filter them out here. You can also give them hearts if you like them here. Uh, and you can also go to your voices. So you can see here, these are the voices that I designed. My own voice, my cloned voice is in here. I can use it, etc. Uh, so that's what you can do inside of the text-to-speech. You can design or you can create any voice over here. Now, the next option here is speak like. Now, check this out. I'm going to upload my audio file here and check this out. You know my voice, right? But now we're going to uh, generate a speech here and you can choose one of the voices here at the right side. So um, remember the voice that I uploaded here? Hey guys, this is Tim and this is my voice that we're going to clone. So we're going to let anyone else from the list here, from the voices, say exactly what I've recorded here. So let's say I want to have a, um, let's say a sportsman. Get ready to feel the adrenaline rush, folks. So this is a good one, sportsman, right? So this sportsman is going to say exactly what I've uploaded here. So I've uploaded this for a new platform, which is called Sound So Real. Now, check this out. I'm going to generate the speech for this sportsman, and he's going to say exactly what I said in this MP3. And it's ready. Check this out. Hey, guys, this is Tim, and this is my voice that we're going to clone for a new platform, which is called Sound So Real. So if you want to clone your voice, you simply talk about 10, 20, 30 seconds. Remember, I recorded, and he is saying that exactly what I just uploaded. So you can upload any file, and that's why this software is so ideal. You can simply record your voice here, and then you can upload it here, and it will do exactly, it will say exactly, these voices will say exactly what you've uploaded here. So you can speak like somebody. Now, in the multi-person part here, you can have a, a conversation with multiple people here. So here you could select the first voice on the right side here. You could say the first voice, for example, and you can listen to them. Oh, no. So that's Fenner, for example. And speaker two, you could do. Of course, my phone or, died. Ha, huh, I never noticed. Horace, here. So you could say anything you like in here. So let me type something. So for example, I said here, have you heard the latest news about the new iPhone? And then the other person says, oh my gosh, another new iPhone. How many phones do we need? And then you can add an extra dialogue in here. So when you click here, you can do another dialogue and another dialogue. So you can create a full dialogue in here. And then on the right side here, you can give instructions like a fun conversation between friends. And I'm going to click on generate speech and listen to this. Have you heard the latest news about the new iPhone? Oh my gosh, another new iPhone? How many phones do we need? Oh, <laughs> that sounds really good, right? So you can have full conversations here. You could say, yeah, like for example, yeah, I agree. It's so blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so you could create full conversations in here. Final option that I'm going to show you here is the dubbing section. Now, this is also a very, very cool feature. Again, you can record your audio. So let's do a recording here so that you can see how this works. But basically, it's going to take your voice and it's, it's going to speak in a different language. So let me check this out here. Check this out. Record audio here. So let's record my voice. Hey, guys, this is Tim. And right now we are talking in English, but this will be translated to another language. And once it's translated, it will also dub that to the language that you prefer. It's a super cool feature. Check this out. So now you have my voice here. We've recorded this. And now we can say here in what kind of language do we want to have this. Now, I already said here that it needed to be Spanish. So you can see here, it already translated. Hola, quisos este estim. Uh, I do not speak Spanish, but you got the idea. It already has uh, descripted uh, the text in here. Um, 
It detected the language, so you could say the language here, but basically already has the details here. The only thing that I need to do is click on generate speech, and now it will take my tone of voice and it will generate the voice uh, exactly with my voice, but then speaking in Spanish. Here, there you go, here. Hola chicos, este es Tim y en este momento estamos hablando en inglés, pero esto va a ser traducido a otro idioma. Y una vez que se traduce también que doblar a la lengua que usted prefiere es una That's cool, isn't it? Now I'm suddenly so talking in Spanish. I can do this to German as well. It's going to translate the script in German and it's going to talk German here. Hey Leute, hier ist Tim und in Moment reden wir auf English. Well, I can generate the speech again and you will hear my voice in German. Hey Leute, hier ist Tim und I am Moment reden wir auf Englisch, aber das wird in eine andere Sprache übersetzt und sobald es übersetzt ist, wird es auch in die Sprache. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, that's the dubbing part. So yeah, like I said from the beginning, you can design your own voices, you can remix them, you can clone your voices, you will simply able to take any uh, language, any emotion here, any narrator from the list, you can speak like, do it speak like someone, multi-person, and you could dub your voices all with this software, which is called Sound So Real. Now, guys, again, if you're interested, check out the link in the description below uh, for more information. You're going to get my bonus like Nova Studio, also 200 plus prompts that you can use, uh, voice prompts that you can use directly inside of this software. Um, so yeah, make sure to check it out through my link. And by the way, please hit the thumbs up if this video was useful. If you like this video, also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews similar to this one. Uh, so yeah, make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. For now, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.